everybody, I'm Joel Gilly with WGTV. I am joined today by Matt Oldie, Kane Oldie. How are you today? Very good, how are you? I'm doing great, and it's been a while since we've talked. Now, yeah. for people who don't know, you were basically the air show coordinator for Wings Over Wayne last year. Yes, sir, that's right, the director for Wings Over Wayne in 2017, yep. So the reason why we have brought him in today is Wings Over Wayne has just received a great award. And I'm gonna have to read this because it's a whole lot. Sure. But basically, you guys have won the top industry recognition for North Carolina as an event of the year. It's from the North Carolina Association of Festival and Events. Their big event called Show Fest happened in Charlotte earlier this week. And Wings Over Wayne was the top recognized event in North Carolina. How does that make you feel as someone who was a part of it? Yeah, it, uh, it makes me feel very proud to have been a part of it because really it's indicative of uh, all the people that were behind the scenes working it to include on and off base. So all the service members on base and then the, the relationship and the partnership that we have with the Goldsboro and Wayne County community uh, making it happen as well. What was the coolest part about planning the air show this past year? Uh, that exact thing, just working with all those different people. That was absolutely the coolest part, working with all those different people and then being able to put the event on for those same people in the community was, was the coolest part. And we're going to talk about a little bit about the process behind it. There's four judges uh, from North Carolina and neighboring states. And I'm going to read this because this is, this is you know, hats off to you and your guys. They were awestruck. That's a pretty powerful word. Awestruck at the planning and logistics of the event, and then it's all carried out by service members stationed at Seymour Johnson. So that's awesome for you guys. Yeah, yeah, that's really neat when you think about it. Um, day in and day out, the other 363 days out of the year, the service members have a very specific duty that they're uh, there to accomplish, and it's not planning an air show or planning an event. But then we're able to kind of take that hat off, put the other hat on and make that event happen for everybody. So you're gonna be playing in the next air show too? I am not going to be playing in the air, <laughs> next air show. There will be somebody else, a uh, lucky individual, to be able to take that on and plan that with everybody. What are some of the challenges for planning an event that size? Uh, just being able to uh, plan and coordinate the logistics behind getting so many people on a base that is not designed from the, from the ground up to have that many people. Like a NASCAR event or a baseball event or an NFL event is gonna be designed to have that many people and Seymour Johnson is not. So. That was probably the biggest challenge that we were able to think outside the box and overcome. Now, I know that, uh, you know, of course, all the performers at the air show were great this past year. If you had to pick one of your favorites, what was it? The Strike Eagle CAD demo. Yeah. Really like the Strike Eagle demo. It's a, I'm a fan of that from, uh, from way back. Um, that, that's a hard, uh, you know, all joking aside, since I fly the Strike Eagle, that, that's a pretty hard um, an, an, uh, question to answer. There were so a many great- A little bit of bias, right? Yeah, a little bit of bias with the strike, <laughs> but there were so many just incredible uh, events and there were, there was some really cool ones that I thought were really neat to have at the same time on Seymour Johnson to include the Raptor demo and the F-18, Canadian F-18 demo to have those guys at the same time at the same air show was pretty cool, but it, it, that's that's hard to pinpoint. Tor 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 was incredible, Lima Lima was incredible, Wired Collier, all, all, everybody. And I don't wanna keep naming because I'm sure I'll leave somebody out, but they were all, uh, pretty incredible to work with and then just the flying was awesome yeah and it was and the weather we had was just just incredible to to have that um, you know clearing a million on saturday slightly overcast on sunday that cleared up by about opening uh, sunday was great sunday was awesome it had cooled down a little bit it was it was pretty cool so you looking forward to the next air show you still going to be around for it i will be here more than likely and i'm definitely going to attend it um, and I will you help. actually get to watch this time. Yeah, I'll, I'll be able to watch this time, but I'll help out um, where they need me, but uh, there'll be a, another director. Uh, more than likely, it'll be Major Hoffman. That was my deputy this past oh, air cool. show. If he's here and everything works out, he'll more than likely be the, uh, the director for 2018. One of the really cool things, the Thunderbirds coming back for Wings Over Wing 2019. We had the Blue Angels last time, but yep. Thunderbirds. Yep, um, so obviously they're uh, the Air Force Thunderbirds. Um, you know, it, it's it's going to be awesome to have them. We had them in 15, and they were incredible. We've got a couple friends on the team, so it'll be cool to have those guys back. Uh, but I can't really, I can't make a, a choice between the two. Having <laughs> having been part of planning with the Blue Angels, they were awesome to work with. Those guys are absolutely professional. Flying was professional, and and then they're just good people as well. Um, so. I can't really can't really say anymore. I used to be able to say, "Oh, I'm, you know, the Thunderbirds are better." But after being able to work with the uh, the Blues, it was it was pretty humbling to be able to work. You with know, those and guys. I've seen them both perform here in Goldsboro, and I was telling someone the same thing just last week. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're both amazing. I mean, I, you know, I'm Air Force. <laughs> you know, I, I bleed Air Force Blues, so Absolutely. whatever. If I have to fall on one, it'd be on the side of the the, the T-Birds. Of course, but, of uh, course. 
yeah, the Blues were incredible to work with. And we hope to have them back, you know, maybe in 2021 if we're yeah. lucky. So. You guys have been lucky to kind of bounce back and forth between the two of them yeah. for the past We're very, very centrally located on the East Coast. You know, there's a couple other air shows. Uh, I like to consider ours uh, to be the, best, the best. But the uh, well, I mean, you have an award to That's exactly that. right. Um, it's exactly right. So uh, I think that that attracts good acts when you have a professional event like this. And then historically, we've had just an incredible um, planning committee team uh, and then the, the continuity we have, the carryover from one year to the next, um, or excuse me, you know, every other year. Uh, but the planning's already started, so really oh, it's one year it. to the next um, to be able to have that good continuity to continue to attract the uh, the top uh, the top acts that, like the Blue Angels, the Thunderbirds, the Black Daggers, all those guys. Those guys are you know right down the road. They're yeah. kind of our neighbors, if you will, down in Fayetteville, the Black Daggers, and it was really great to continually have them as well. So ho hopefully we're able to have them back. Kane, congratulations. Thank you so much for all the hard work you put into last year's event. I mean, you got the award now all over North Carolina. They picked Wings Over Wayne 2017 as the best the best event in North Carolina. So congratulations and thank you. Thank you. If I can just say, you know, I, I appreciate that. Thanks. But really the, the, the thanks and the uh, the appreciation goes to the planning team that, that I represent uh, standing here. So on and off base. And, and I like to thank everybody off base as well. Because um, there is a whole lot of people that, that were involved in that. There so. really was. So. Hats off to you guys. Thank you so much for your time Thank today. you very much. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. This has been a segment with Kane here talking about Wings Over Wayne 2017 winning the top award in North Carolina.